Hey everybody, it's Charles Alvarez, President of Focal Point International, where we work with you to deliver more freedom and wealth to you through your business by generating more leads, closing more sales, and having the right team in place and the right business process in place so you can get to that next level of success in your business. And in this week's training video, we're going to talk about how to identify or how to get more leads. You know, there's three components for any successful marketing campaign. The three ingredients are picking the right target market, sending the right message to the target market, and then picking the right media or the right marketing channels to deliver that message to your target market through. So one of the things we're talking about today is how to pick or how to select that target market or how to verify if your current target market is the right one. So a target market, <laughs> target, a target market, excuse me, is um, a focus group, a focus demographic as to uh, who you're going to sell your product and service to. So it's if you're a business to business, what type of businesses do you sell to? Uh, in other words, how much revenue, uh, which title, is it the VP of operations, is it the CEO, is it the executive team, who is it? Uh, how big is the company? Is it a startup company or is it a multi-million or multi-billion dollar corporation? Uh, another thing could be uh, what geographical location can you just serve the people in your local market or do you have the capabilities to service around the United States or even the entire world so the first thing you have to know is exactly based upon the product or service that you sell what is the best target market to select based upon where you want to get your business after you've determined that it's t it's time to find out okay what is it that will actually resonate in the hearts and mind of these of these people, of, because as, as if you think about business, what it is, it's about serving and helping people and adding value to their lives. If your business to consumer, how much income does a family make? Do they have kids? Do they not have kids? What geographical area are they in? So those are the type of things that you could ask yourself as to who is my ideal client? Who do I really enjoy working with? And if you already got a set of clients or customers you work with, which one of those do you like working with the most? And if you're having a hard time figuring that out use the 80-20 rule, which is typically 20% of your customers are responsible for 80% of your profits. Do a demographic study on who exactly those people are. And once you identify who those people are, the best way to find out if your product or service is uniquely qualified or brings some differentiation to uh, the marketplace that your competitors don't, the best way to find that out is to just call up your, your best clients, your best customers, and just ask them. And the questions don't have to be all that hard. It can be, hey, of all the widget companies out there, or all the air conditioning companies, or engineering companies, or whatever companies you could have chosen from, why did you pick us? Uh, what was what's better about our firm that is different than another firm? What uh, what is it that you like about the way that our that we service you that is better or worse than your previous company? It's interesting, we did a demographic study for a, a, uh, a client here in Houston who does, uh, who owns a, uh, several Massage Heights uh, uh, franchises. And they did this survey on the customer and they were absolutely just shocked as to what they found out. They found out that the number one reason why people come to them is because they communicate the fact that they care. In other words, they used to go to massage places that, you know, was kind of one of those, you know, wham bam, thank you ma'am, hopefully see you next time. Whereas with this particular uh, massage salon, they really took the time to build a relationship and really care and understand their customers. So it could just simply be that you care better or that you care more than your customers can. Because once you have the answers to those questions, it's really easy to develop a message to that target demographic and then find out what media sources. And if you're having a hard time finding even what the media sources, you can say, hey, how did you find out about us? Uh, what books do you read? What websites do you go to? Uh, what uh, trade organization do you belong to? Or what other societies or associations or councils do you belong to? Because once you know that information, you can easily find out how to market to them, either by a web banner on a, or a banner on a web page, uh, or it could be through social media if that's how they like to communicate and that's how they like to uh, be sold to or marketed to. Or if it's the fact they like to meet one-on-one, -on -one, maybe a trade association is something you should join. So take the time to understand your target market, where they hang out, uh, why they chose your firm versus others, or what they're looking for out of your product or service that the marketplace or that your competitors aren't as qualified as you to handle, and then really start hunting down your target market based upon that. 
I hope this was helpful to you. To find out more information, uh, go to 10k27days.com where we're going to send you 10 free videos on how to find an additional $10,000 in revenue in your business over the next 27 days, guaranteed. All you got to do is put in your name and email address, and in exchange for that, we're going to show you how to put $10,000 extra dollars in your pocket over the next 27 days. Hope this has been helpful to you. Have an excellent day. Bye-bye.